Hey bosses, it's Gabrielle. I am an event income strategy consultant and I help entrepreneurs to use in-person classes and workshops to grow their business. So today we're going to be talking about just that. How can you use in-person classes and workshops to grow your business? Well, you want to make sure that if you're going to do an in-person event, that you're doing it with the right mindset. All right. And so the right mindset is that your event is not the main event. Your event is a business tool that you're going to use to grow your business. Think of it this way. When you're doing a marketing campaign to sell a product or service, is the Facebook ad the main event? No, it's not. Is the social media campaign the main event? No, it's not. Your product or service is the main event. And so once you think of your event as a marketing plan, as an event marketing strategy, then you'll understand that your event is actually a tool that can be used to grow your business. So let's kind of really briefly go over how you can do this. Number one, you want to have an event objective. Your event objective needs to start with your product or service, all right? Once you have an understanding of your product or service and the goal as to how much you want to sell of that product or service each month, now you know what you need to do in order to attract the right people to your brand, all right? Once you have the idea of the product, then you can figure out the kind of people that you're going to attract with that product. So this consists of your target market, your niche market, um, the problem that they're having, the pain points that they're going through and experiencing, your particular way of doing things, right? When you have that clear, now you can think about how to create an event to complement that and get people to see the value in that product or service or whatever you're offering. Number two, you want to have an event plan. You don't want to just be flying by the seat of your pants when you're planning an event. You definitely want to have a strategy in place to allow you to plan your event as smooth as possible and as strategic as possible. And your event plan, your master plan, your event income strategy, whatever you want to call it, I call it an event income strategy or an event strategy. You want to make sure it definitely includes your marketing plan, your sponsorship plan, your income plan, um, you know, your team, your team roles, implementation plan, how are you going to get things happening, your event budget, all of those things needs to be included in your event master plan. That also includes the research and all the things you're going to do to make sure you get the right people there. Number three, you want to make sure that you're evaluating your events at the end of every event because you don't want to be hosting an event, making the same mistakes over and over again, not realizing that you need to change or knowing that you need to change, but not knowing exactly what needs to change to improve. So make sure that you're doing an evaluation at the end of every event with your event team to see what went well and what did not go that great. Now let's talk about the concept of using events to grow your business a little bit further. And we're going to dive deep into the, the marketing plan because Remember, an event is a marketing strategy. So if we're going to talk about event as a marketing strategy, then we got to get the concept of marketing down. So let's talk about the marketing strategy behind of event marketing. If you're going to use events to grow a business, you have to understand the three concepts of marketing. Content that educates, content that qualifies, and content that converts. And so content that educates can be anything like a blog post, live video, podcast, um, email marketing, you know, free five-day course, whatever it is, things that lets your audience know that they have a problem and they need to figure out how to solve it now or else they're going to continue having the pain that they're going through. So this makes your audience problem aware, okay? Content, content that educates makes your audience problem aware. Number two, content that qualifies. And this can be anything from a checklist, a freebie, a free in-person class, a free online class, et cetera, et cetera. And this, these are things that qualifies your audience. This is content that separates your ideal client from your general target market. All right. So you want to get clear on your target market. And then you want to also get super clear on your ideal client. Who is most likely to buy your product and service? And what can you create to attract them even further out of the crowd of everyone else? Okay, so the kind of content is you're going to use to attract them is what you're going to use to qualify them. And what I mean by qualify is who qualifies to become a client of yours? 
who is the right candidate for your product or service? What kind of attributes or traits do they need to have or what kind of problems do they need to have for them to be the right candidate for your product? And that's what you mean by qualification, okay? And content that qualifies makes your audience solution aware. That makes them aware of your solution in your business, all right? So this is what this does. The next part of this is content that converts. And the content that converts makes your audience aware of their readiness. Readiness aware. Are they really ready to take the next step and do what it takes to get the results that they've been asking for? Or take the steps that's necessary to remove the pain points that they're having. So it make, it's, this is where they are readiness aware, okay? They are aware, aware of how ready they are to take action and take, do what it takes to get the results in their business. So this is going to be your in-person event. This is the content that's going to be um, conversion-based. And so your content in your event should be one that makes them aware of all that is involved in, in order, everything that's involved to get the solution that they want and help them understand what it really takes to do it and help them make a choice between, am I going to do it on my own or am I going to invest in having someone do this for me? That's really what it is. That's just a shortcut of really and truly what it is that really I have never heard anyone talk about in the way that I'm talking about it, okay? So this could be anything from your event, your in-person event. And at the end of your event, your sales funnel for those who didn't, you know, convert at your event. And then at your sales funnel, the sales calls with those who were at your event, went through your, your event, your email funnel, and are ready to kind of have a, a further conversation and pick up the conversation where it left off from the event. And that's how you use your event to grow your business and your income. So that's pretty much it. I really want to quickly show you guys my event strategy planner really quick. It comes in two colors and it helps you to grow your business. Now the event strategy planner, again, it comes in two colors. It comes in the pink version and the blue version, and they are designed to help you to plan in-person classes and workshops to grow your business. So if you're someone who have been thinking about doing an in-person class and you want to do it the right way, this is a really good tool to help you do that. This breaks down everything you need to know about planning your in-person class, choosing the right in-person workshop for you. Um, it has workshop worksheets to help you get event sponsors, plan out your strategy for your, your event, you know, even down to team members and team roles and, you know, down to uh, things like your marketing plan, your Facebook ad strategy is all in this workbook. So I highly recommend if you're, if you're going to be hosting an in-person class or workshop that you go ahead and grab your copy today. Links will be in the description bar below. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you have any questions, leave them below and I'll chat with you guys later. Bye.